All right. The next section is saying that you should find or determine an expression for each inverse of x. Let's see. H inverse of x. So h of x is equal to 2x plus 3 over 5 minus x. Now one thing you can do when you're finding the inverse of a function, rewrite h of x as y. y is 2x plus 3 over 5 minus x. Then interchange x and y. Change y to x and x to y. So instead of y equal, we have x equal. And 2x instead of 2x, we have 2y. Change x to y. It's plus 3 over 5 minus. Change x to y. After that, you transpose for y. Make y the subject. Alright? So me... Alright, so, what we can do here, multiply both sides by 5 minus y. So we have x equals 2y plus 3 over 5 minus y. We multiply by 5 minus y, and it's by 5 minus y. Alright? Just to bring both y's on top. So 5 minus y cancel 5 minus y here. So we have here, what we have here is x times 5 minus y is equal to 2y plus 3. Alright? We multiply, uh, expand these brackets. So x times 5 plus x times minus x times y x times 5 is 5x, minus x times y is xy, equals 2y plus 3. I want to have both y's together. So, if I add xy to both sides, I have 5x minus xy equals 2y plus 3. Add xy. So that I get rid of it on the left. It's just a strategic move here. Plus xy. Plus xy. Negative xy plus itself. That's gone. So what I will have is 5x equal. And then 2y plus xy plus 3. Just rearrange these. 2y plus xy plus 3. Let me just um, erase part of what I did here earlier to make space. So continuing. So I want y's alone on the right. I have a tree here. I don't want any x or number, only y's. So, I get rid of the 3. So, 5x equals 2y plus xy, which is here, plus the 3. How I get rid of the 3? It's not a matter of moving 3. There is no mathematical operation called move. The basic operations are add, subtract, multiply, and divide. I have a plus 3 here, so I subtract 3, subtract 3, 3 minus 3, that's 0, so that part is gone. So I have 5x minus 3 equals 2y plus xy. Then I factorize and get y inside the bracket, 2 plus x. Right, you see that? Y into 2y is 2. Y into xy is x. If I multiply back the bracket, y times 2 gives 2y. Y times x gives xy, right? This is 5x minus 3. 
then I want y equal alone. So I get rid of it 2 plus x. So 2 plus x divided by 2 plus x and it leaves y alone. I must divide here by 2 plus x also. So I have 5x minus 3 over 2 plus x over 2 plus x. And then finally, rewrite y as h inverse of x. So what happens here, let me just erase the top here to make space again. So therefore, if I switch over, put the y on the left, and I have y equal 5x minus 3 over 2 plus x, and I change y to h inverse of x, h inverse of x is equal to 5x minus 3 over 2 plus x, and that is h inverse of x.